Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play King's Blood with me, Bring It Dawn. Collect the rewards from Samson. A new party member. Disgraceful! Sending me, Arthania's greatest master chef, to serve some ragged mercenaries? Oh, you must have done something right for our kind, as Major Tom Tom sent me, the Great Bodo, to your support. Whatever, here I am now, and you're gonna get all kinds of delicious food. Such a waste for unappreciative primitives like you, but I guess it is what it is. Major Tom Tom. As a specialist. When you have more than one in the party, place a barricade with the group's total ability power times two plus 50 in hit points. Then a turret and two turrets. Okay. Halfling and fire. Alright, his description. Strawberry truffle and the head of three mice. Mix it up with some Askian spice. Give it some roasted morgrel root. Best. Taste some of Bodo's food. Liver and heart and even a spine. Don't be disgusted, it will be fine. Touching the tongue will be so, so good. Hooray. Taste some of Bodo's food. Quality, though, must have its price. Goulash, caviar, and risotto rice. Bodo will cook if you give him loot. Buy more, y'all. Taste some of Bodo's food. And Master Cook. Bodo buffs attack damage and ability power of all of his group members by 6% for 5 seconds and heals all allies by 9. Got a little bit of everything, doesn't he? A Dazzler we've seen, Educated. We've seen that before as well, and Citizen. All old news. 5 skill points. I think we really want him to scale with... Ability power. It's hard to say no to 30 hit points right off the bat, though. Oh, we can go this way. And then go this way. And two more levels, we'll have more ability power. Alright, she leveled up. Gonna give her some more attack damage. I think she was the last one. Right now. Okay, disgusting. Okay, okay, I screwed up. My bride ran away on my wedding day. I had ordered three whole ox for the guests. I canceled the wedding, and consequently no one came to eat the ox. I did not think about it, as I was so depressed about the whole situation. But I went to Dragon's Bridge where the ox were stored. A rotten smell went right into my nose. Yep, you guessed it right. A flock of monstrous maggots. I wouldn't dare to touch these things. Could you be our exterminator? Have our fighter front line. Bring a couple of assassins. Archer and healer. So this is actually more attack damage and ability power. So we'll give that to Glorious. Healing potion. Don't care for move speed. Let's give him more attack damage. And more attack damage. And more attack damage. Give her a stun so if she's targeted she can stop taking damage for a brief period of time. Attack damage for the other assassin. All right, so I think I'm gonna start prioritizing the blue quests. We can do the, the story missions for each city. Prove your strength. Who got Bloodfist angry? He in search for Sun Zul, but Zul not found yet. Zul's strongest of the warriors of tribe. What can have happened? Ugad wants you to find adventurers strong enough to find Zul, but you need Ugad trust first. So that's stronger than Bear by killing Bear. Ready to prove strength. 
Must be a Ghostbusters reference. All right, bring our shapeshifters. Archer, mage, a summoner, and specialist. He needs ability power. We'll slap that right there. And this. Oh, I would prefer a cake instead. That will give him spell. Uh, she also needs ability power. I don't think we have any left. Here's some evasion, I guess, and a focus potion. And some more evasion. This guy needs a spell. Attack damage for the archer. So these spells scale with AP. I'm going to stop giving them to the archer since I don't have like any AP nodes on any of my archers. I'm going to save them for my casters. So I have five party members left. Can I... I might be able to take this on. If I can't, I'll just pull everyone back. I don't think there's really any consequences to failing a quest besides this gold counter going down. 305% difficulty. Okay. Not very ladybug-like. A mass of nasty beetles are skittering all over Mugrat marshes. By Morial, they're everywhere. I thought about calling an exterminator. I think you're more likely to survive this job. I hope so. A couple of supports. Unfortunately, this fighter isn't recommended, but it's going anyway. With that in mind, we will do just healing potions on most everybody here. Oh, we can unlock another city. Already did Orktar, so I guess next we'll do Wargle and then Gara Rock. Wargle, like most orc cities, is a city that values practicality over aesthetics. Its buildings are mostly made of wood, decorated with bones and leather. Wargle is under the leadership of the Moon Clan, the second most influential clan within Aratka. Unlike the majority of their kind, MoonClan invests much of their energy into researching the secrets of ancient shamanism, a practice based on their own mythological belief system. Morgul's Shaman Council maintains diplomatic ties with the other principalities of Arthania, their existence a major reason why the orcs of Aratka are considered part of the civilized world at all. Most of the other races of Arthania still think of orcs as mere beasts that don't have two brain cells to rub together. Okay, so this fight I'm a little concerned about. Can't see their elements. All right, so water. Light. Don't have any storm folks in this party. Not the smoothest quest, but we got a fireball and attack damage.
Okay, fire against life. Life against water. I don't have any fire, so I'll just put him over here, I think. I'm in the same corner so we can focus fire. Uh, plus 70 max health seems pretty good. Right, good luck, Thorbin. It's a 1v1. Now he does. Doing a lot more damage. He's got life leech. Maybe having a single target ability versus his AoE one would have been a better idea, but he's fine. Oh gosh, some experience for that. Uh, health regen might be worth it. It's seven per second. 33 attack damage is also very good. Unbelievable! You beat me! How is this even possible? I see. I need to get stronger. Prepare yourself. Because you just got a new companion. All right, so orc race is an archer. Okay. The orcs get oh, they reduce enemies' attack speed. Is pretty good. Necrophobia, scared of the dead. Rageous. This character loves fighting the mightiest of enemies unless they're undead. And Highlander, the closer to the sky, the better. Cool. All right, well, we'll focus her on damage. Attack speed, damage, damage, and I guess a little bit of crit. Sprinkle that in there. Jorla is a wild being. She's been a hunter all her life, but instead of using bow and arrow, she slays her prey with the brute force of her throwing axes. Her scream scares even the most ferocious of beasts, and even the toughest of enemies will shiver at least for a moment, when realizing that the fearless expression in Jorla's face is nothing else but total intent to kill. Jorla screams out in anger and increases her attack speed by 22%. This effect can stack and last for the whole combat. Wow. Okay. So just throw... Focus Potion on her, I guess. Now we have some more level ups. Thorbin leveled up twice. I'm thinking health and ability power. Osius leveled up uh, more attack damage. I think we're all set for right now. Okay, story quests in all three of these locations. Uh, someone we can talk to. What brings you to me, Wanderers? We were just wondering about the secluded shack and wanted to see if someone still lives here. I see. Isolated it is. Orc tribes hunt me away. Because they're scared. Scared? Yeah, scared. Scared of Moch's visions. Moch in direct contact with Fanyir's soul. If you bring me the right ingredients, I'll ask Fanyir about your fates. Such nonsense. Guys, let's go. Wait! I need to know about another person's fate. Can you do that as well? What are the right ingredients? 
Hmm. Bring me mushrooms from the east, west, in the middle of the kingdom, and I'll tell you about anyone you want. We'll be back. I have some mushrooms. Got a sea mushroom, the west. We got a lake mushroom from the middle, and that's granite. Where? Oh, we had another one. Maybe not yet. Oh, cool. Alright, uh, let's continue with Samsian since we did unlock that before the other two. Follow their tracks. We have more information on these bandits. One of the other mercenary guilds found a note indicating that these bandits are being sent out to distract us from something else. Something bigger. But let's discuss that later. For now, let's clean up the area to the north. Ready for more work. Always ready for more work. Okay, so we'll bring a couple of archers, a couple of fighters. Actually, let's bring Glorious. A healer and. Falkmar. He's a little lower level. He needs some experience. Okay, let's give her attack damage. An attack damage potion. I guess we'll try middle stat next. Bunch of rats. Rats, rats, and rats. Oh, it is you again. Get rid of those rats at the market. Watch out for the latest horror story. A huge rat has been spotted just south of middle stat. When I say huge, I mean huge. About two meters long. Something or someone must have altered this creature. We'll give you good money if you get rid of this nightmare, and even more if you find any clues as to where these things come from. Jumping rat. Okay. Couple of fighters. Archer. With assassins and... Nilly. It's not a favorite quest for her, but since she's ranged, she should be okay. Uh, max health 70. Go ahead and give that to her. Nineteen armor. Need to do some more crafting. So health potions for right now. Oh, we can lock a new city already. Okay. This starting to snowball a bit. Gar a rock. Harry Hotter. <laughs> a famous Samsian poet once penned the saying, Orcs are orcs. He felt that no matter how much one tries to change them, orcs will always be feral beasts. However, the city of Gar a rock is where this statement, born from prejudice, loses much of its credibility. Gar Rock is a city divided between various clans that fight amongst themselves for leadership solely based on the law of the strongest, but the Wolf Clan is the current holder of that title. That being said, they have proven time and time again that they can cooperate with each other in a civilized manner in times of struggle. Unfortunately, the solidarity ends at the city border. The rest of Arotka, the land of the orcs, is a barbaric cesspool of wickedness and, ar and anarchy, save for one or two dim lights within the darkness. The lack of kinship between the clans is a major source of conflict in Arotka, as well as a serious concern for the Wolf Clan. I wonder where we get the other mushroom from. Oh, it must be from a faction. I'm looking at the cities. Endless Heart of Satisfaction. It's fun. Ancient Demon Skull. Let's see one offhand. I didn't look at all the cities, but. Oh, before I get too far, can I do this before we start a quest? I could have clicked on it, but it's fine. 
there's a fire. I don't see any life. It's up front here. A particular advantage one way or the other against that guy. Uh, he is good against that one. As is she. Uh, Earth is good against shock. They have any shock folks or lightning. Not a lot of bonuses here. Uh, we have 25% ability power for all party members, 4% life leech to all party members, 20% armor, max health, and uh, magic resist for fighters, and 20% attack speed for archers. Oh, okay, I didn't look at her range. So having her start all the way in the back like that's not a good idea. Wow, one experience point off from leveling up. How disappointing. Oh, hello there. Tough call. So this doesn't have a ton of attack damage, but the increased attack speed might be worth it. I know we're finding weapons with like 33 attack damage, so having a third of that just I don't think it can be justified. This though, 31 ability power and 42 initial shield. I think we'll grab that. Oh, we got a little bit of brewing done. Let's go into battle and defeat these enemies. <sighs> I'd follow you anywhere. All right. Light. What is light against? Good against Earth. All right, we should be fine. Or maybe not. Can he shape shift in time? Nope. I mean, we've still got it, but. Yeah, I didn't expect them to go down that fast. I wasted a focus potion. Not three level ups. Attack damage. Ability power 44. I think this is better, because not only will their abilities be more effective, but the spells that we equip, the consumables, will also be more effective. So we're double dipping with that. I got some rewards to collect. So Samson, more Arcanium. Octarakot, or Octarak, there we go. Add an extra syllable. Two rare items. Absorbing Shield of the Dancer, block rate 11%, attack evasion 3%, and initial shield 43. Pretty solid. All right, we'll pick up the quest at Sanctum of Hope. Undead Invaders. The Sanctum of Hope is the greatest bastion against all evil. We're loyal to the king no matter what. With the flickering of the barrier, evil has re-emerged within our lands. It's our duty to eradicate everything being touched by demonic powers. We have received information that a larger group of zombies has slipped through the barrier. Destroy them and banish the demonic energy that forces these things to march against us. Okay. We'll bring Glorious, our Shapeshifters, Summoner, Mage, Support. Oh, that's where we have seven slots now. And Bodo. Good old Bodo. Okay, block, rate, attack evasion, and initial shield. No attack damage, so I don't want to give it to Glorious. Armor 22. I wonder if that's better than the just the straight health. Ability power 44 or place the oh they're both 27, so put it right there. 
That ability power. We're at magic resist. I might save that for Serena. I think I end up making Serena my main tank. I don't know. Between her and Glorious, I think they're my two favorite. And Thorbin. It's really all the fighter characters I like. Now we're we'll going to give it to him. Because I may forget to... There we go. Uh, we don't have a focus potion for Orlish, but 100% heal is good. Because he usually goes down right when his uh, ability is about to go off. I'll just go and throw that on him, I guess. We only have six left, so I'm not going to start another one since I can't have a full party. That's oh, right, a lot of level ups. Uh, let's see. All right, more ability power for Lyrica. That crit damage for Magnus. Ori. Ability power. Orlish. They have all those. I can't go up that way. Okay. Uh, I guess ability power. So how does this scale? Seven percent. So five plus AP divided by ten. So ability power still helps. Now get me up here as well to health regen and all that. Start a new building. Sanctuary 2 allows to bring two more combatants to battle. Absolutely. Probably the most important upgrade we can get. Though it does limit how many quests we can go on because I'm not as comfortable not having a full party go on a quest. I mean, six is probably fine for something. Depending on which six we have left. And... Research Dragon's Breath. Hey, Millie. Can I ask you something? Hmm? What is it you want to talk about? If we enter quieter times, would you mind teaching me how to read? I'd say we start tomorrow, as long as we survive this battle. <laughs> Okay. I've seen that one before. So light is good against earth. We'll send Thorbin right there. I uh, don't want him up against water. I'm going to park him over here so that they don't focus on him. Uh, life is good against water. Why can't I change his target by putting him over here? I don't want him going after the water guy. I don't have any shock folk, so I'll just have him focus fire over here. Something like this. Hope for the best. Getting a little roughed up here. Alright, the orbit went down. It's that small rat that's the problem. Only the big rat is nearly as tanky. She might be able to do it. She's fairly tanky. Ah, no, she's taking some serious damage now. Her ability is not any good <laughs> for this situation. Just boost regeneration for everybody. 
This wasn't my best party. I thought with uh, Thorbin in it, they'd be okay. Yeah, we'll retry it later. All right, well, that's the end of that turn. Uh, I'm going to call it here. Next time, we'll continue questing and seeing if we can't knock out the uh, stories for these cities. I'm curious what that last mushroom is, though. I might look around off camera. See if I can't find it. So once I have that, I can recruit this other guy. He said it was central. We found west... I wonder if it's like over here, and we haven't unlocked it yet. Oh, that shield looks cool. Maybe it has to be like all the way over here? Can't look at the reputation there. Yeah, does not look very happy. Okay, well, I'm gonna call it here. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you guys in the next one.